Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations? We have f of x equals m minus x squared plus x. And we also have g of x equals x plus 2. And we have a composite function which follows f of g of f of x all equals minus 1. What we are interested to find in this functional equation problem is the value of m. And how can we achieve this? So I'll be solving this in two different ways. So this is a kind of a composite functional equations where a function will be inserted into another function. So a function in another function, so called composite function. And let's consider the method one we have f of x equals m minus x squared plus x if i start from g of f of x as i'm going to write g of f of suppose i change this x i change this one to two and what this function means is Anywhere we see g of x, which is x here, and it has become f of 2. That is, we change this x to f of 2. This is now the new domain for this function g, as we have it as f of 2 plus, plus 2. And again, let's record from this as well. If I introduce another function f, which is what we have here, f of g of f of 2, this will be equals f of f of 2 plus, plus 2. And this f of f of 2 plus 2 is small of when we have f of x equals m minus x squared plus x. At this every single domain as becomes f of 2 plus 2. And let's try and replace that. So, but f of g of f of 2 is given as minus 1. And minus 1 will be equals here we have m, which is different from what we have. m will be alone minus open bracket. So instead of x squared, we change it to f of 2 plus 2. Then always to power 2. And plus x as well which is f of 2 and here is plus 2 but what is f of 2 so if we look for f of 2 from f of x so f of 2 is given as m minus so 2 squared that is 4 and minus 4 plus 2 that is 2 that one it gives us m minus 2 that is the value of f of 2 that we have and we start replacing them here so we are going to have so by replacing this we have minus 1 equals m minus open bracket f of 2 becomes m minus 2 plus 2 all raised to power 2 then plus m minus 2 plus 2 so minus 2 plus 2 cancelled minus 2 plus 2 also cancelled from here and here we have minus 1 equals m minus, here will be m squared, then here is plus m. And solving this one further, we are going to have minus 1 equals m plus m, that gives us 2m. Then here is minus m squared. So by rearranging this one, we are going to have a quadratic equation which is m squared minus 2m minus 1 equals 0. And to solve this one, we have to apply the completing the square method to get the value of m. First thing, let's transfer one to the other side. We have m squared minus 2m equals 1. Then by adding 1 to both sides, Again, we have m squared 
minus 2m plus 1 equals 1 plus 1. So I added this because m squared minus 2m plus 1 is giving us m minus 1 all raised to power 2 equals 1 plus 1 that gives us 2. Then, so let's take the square root of both sides. We have m minus 1 raised to power 2 all in root equals minus plus the square root of 2. So if square and square root cancel each other, we have m minus 1 equals minus plus root 2. And taking minus 1 to other sides, we have m equals 1 minus plus root 2. So here is the value of m for this question. And let's see the second method of solving this. If that one will be more easier than this. But I believe this is also more easier compared to the next one I'm going to be applying. So for this second method, let's say method 2. If we consider this, we have f of 2. Let's look for what will be the value of f of 2 first. So from the first one, we have f of x, then we change it to f of 2 equals, anywhere we see x, we replace it with 2. Here we have m minus 2 squared plus 2. So this gives us m minus 2 squared, that is minus 4 plus 2. And m minus 4 plus 2, that is m minus 2. This gives us f of 2. And again, we have to take g of f of 2 as well. So for g of f of 2, which is the same thing as when we have g of m minus 2. And g of x is given as x plus 2. Where every single x has becomes m minus 2. So this is telling us that our g of m minus 2 is given as m minus 2 plus 2. And m minus 2 plus 2, that is m. Showing that g of m minus 2 equals m. And finally, we find f of g of f of 2. So we have f of g of f of 2, which is equals minus 1. But everything now is f of m, that is what we have. So we are going to have g of f of 2, that is what we got as m. We change everything to m, then this equals minus 1. And let's come back to the first one that we have, that we have f of x, which is now f of m. So changing that one, we are going to have f of m, which is m minus m squared plus m equals minus 1. And minus m squared plus m plus m, that gives us minus m squared plus 2m, then equals minus 1. So let's multiply 2 by minus. We have m squared minus 2m equals 1. So just like what we got above, and when we solve this, we get the value of m. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.